Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Today I want to showcase a few Bisharp games. Do you guys remember the brief moment in time where there was a select group of people that thought Eevee Light Bisharp was going to be better than King Gambit before Scarlet Violet released? Isn't that so weird to look back on now? Anyone who thought that ended up being pretty wrong. But Bisharp is still very good in RU right now and that's largely thanks to the shifts that happened in July. In July, Moltres moved up from RU all the way to OU, and Kabalia moved up from RU to UU. Both of those shifts are absolutely massive for Bisharp, because Moltres could burn it with Willow or fish for it with Flame Body if Bisharp dared to attack as Moltres switched in. And Kabalian was pretty much just a straight up hard counter, Unless you ran a weird coverage like a low kick or something, and then you'd have to drop a throat chop, and then your only dark stab would be sucker punch, which is not ideal. Another thing that's huge for Bisharp, just like every other fucking sweeper in Generation 9, is that it has access to Terra and it can change its defensive typing to make setup opportunities easier to find, which is still just as bullshit as it was day one, but I guess everybody's just getting used to Terra now. I don't know. I still don't like it, but I hope you guys enjoy the games I got you. If you do find yourself enjoying the video at any point, do feel free to leave it a like. It goes a long way in helping my channel grow, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss content similar to this in the future. I'm going to let the live commentary take it from here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I love you. What should I take from Dazzle? Probably not much, right? 25? I can live with that. If he calls my Terra Fairy here, then fuck me, I guess. Oh, you die now. Big. Are you gonna try to outplay my suckers? Well, you can't kill me right now, can you? Hurricane might kill me. Big. GG's. Massive Bisharp game there, man. I think Bisharp is probably way more broken than Okie Dogie is. They put up the Okie Dogie suspect. I think Bisharp might be public enemy number one right now, dude. I don't know. Uh, looking at leads, his only potential rocker is like Crook. It could be Mew, but it's probably not Mew. Um, <laughs> based on literally nothing. I'm gonna lead Cyclozar and see what happens. Big Amoongus. Uh, well, it can't spore anymore because it's banned. So I'll probably just knock this off and see what happens. Probably get rid of a helmet. Yes. Then take a stun spore if that's unfortunate. Um, I do like Cyclozar's speed. That's not the end of the world. I could probably go Chestnut and stack spikes. I don't know how much that matters because he does have a spinner. It's not stall. You're objectively wrong. And if it's not objectively wrong, then it means like... You're using some fake stall shit that's like actually weird HO that's just bad. And that's like, what am I supposed to do when I see that at preview? You know what I mean? It only makes sense for me to dip. And to say anything else is disingenuous. I want to knock here. I want to try to get rid of Noivern's boots as it comes in. And then I can get up rock and try to pressure. Now that this doesn't have specs anymore, it's a lot less dangerous. Nothing super wants to tank this iron head, so I'll just click it. I don't really care if his crook comes in and gets intimidated. Flinch, please? Nice. Now something takes a good bit of damage. I will literally stay in and flinch anything down other than Conk Elder. If you don't go conk, then I'm just gonna flinch anything down. I don't give a shit. How much does Amoongus take? 24, so I only need uh, two flinches, and I will get them. Count them. Fuck, dude. <laughs> um, 
Probably should have calc this before I went to it. Alright, we Gucci. <laughs> Probably should have calc first there. These lucky fucking players, man. Unreal. If you think about it, it's more hacks to, for him to hit through than it is for me to fucking not flinch. You know what I mean? I'm going chestnut and letting you take this helmet chip. Body press because I think I kill Noivern at this point, and if he goes Mew, then he goes Mew, I guess. I don't know. That's probably not a good attitude to have towards Mew. Because that is a dangerous Pokemon, but I'll at least pressure him. Oh, if I can get rid of a spinner, that'd be great. Yeah, okay. Might be cooking with gas here now. Unless he goes Mew. And probably uh, DD's on me. I'm gonna go Crook for the Intimidate. That's so much worse, okay. Oh, he's faster too, that sucks. Why are you so fast? Why'd that kill? <laughs> what? I'm rapidly running out of answers for Conk. I don't know how much Draining Kiss does now. Probably a lot. Not that much. I'm going to begrudgingly SD. Now if I tear a fairy, does a mock punch kill? Does not, so that might be worth clicking. Alright, let's make sure. Air fairy, so I resist. Mock punch does 8.3 to 9.9. .9. That's if he's not burned. Does iron head kill though? It do. Sometimes. Okay. Okay. Big. I have to beat Noivern somehow though. There's the forfeit. I don't know why. Because I don't think Crook died to a plus three sucker. Surely not, right? Like <laughs> Right? Let's say I was plus three. Crook. Sucker did 55 to 65. And after the spike he would have been at 57. So it had a roll. So he had a chance. Yeah, that's a Bisharp game there. This is actually guard. I'm gonna knock this off immediately. I live in Moonblast because I am AV. And because Trace activated, I know it's not a uh, Zoroark. I know this is Scarf though. I just want to get rid of its item, he thinks. Do you kill me, Shirley? Okay. I don't think you're staying in here, so I'm going to try to trick something. Tricking Hippo is pretty good. How good is it for me to have Rocky Helmet? It's, I just got significantly worse against Zoroark, but... Whatever, I guess. Try to get the spike. There's Guard again. I can tear a Steel if I want to. Tricks me a scarf. That's actually really bad. I think I still click Sludge Bomb, but I'm not crazy about it. Oh, he traced Bulletproof. Fuck me. Okay, give me my T Spike. Begrudgingly, Chestnut. Thirty-six. Twenty-six. Okay. Hey. Does knockoff kill? Looks like it. Now hit wheezing if it tries to come in. Which I imagine is what it's gonna do here, and it's probably gonna defog. Or it might wisp. Expecting Bisharp. I don't have a way to punish that at all. My Gengar's sludge bombs did get a little bit better. I'm gonna go Gengar because that kind of half ass covers both. It just kind of puts pressure on him, yeah. Like, he doesn't want to tank this Sludge Bomb, because he does a fat 70. And now something else has to tank one. Nothing really wants to tank it, because Umbreon doesn't appreciate the poison. Hippowdon doesn't appreciate the poison. No dice. Oh, 
Haunt, I suppose. The Upper Rock. Taunt, I suppose. Go Bisharp. Fucking get the confusion, because of course he does. Give me Chip. On this, I'll probably go Crook. Then I'll probably Quake. Locked into Earthquake of his own. Get rid of Hippo, that's really big for my Bisharp. Uh, this is Zoroark. Fix me a Spex, and now he's Scarf. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you, Chad, I don't know how this works. So he's not locked in currently, right? This is Zoroark, and it's also going to trick me. So I now have a Scarf. I'm plus two with a Scarf, which means I'm not faster than his guard, because his guard has lefties, right? Because it tricked it. <laughs> I'm so fucking confused. I don't know. I'm just going to click it and send it and fucking whatever happens, happens. I can't keep up with what's been tricked what, dude. I can't- he can't keep up either. We, neither one of us fucking know. Let me just flint- okay, GG, that's a Bisharp game. Alright. <laughs> that was confusing as shit. <laughs> I couldn't keep up with what the fuck was happening. Cause his fucking Gardevoir was tricking shit, his Zoroark was tricking shit, I didn't know what the fuck was what. <laughs>